Hey everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone video. Today I have a pretty cool Minecraft creation for you all and this is my best recreation at another arcade machine. So I have been to a lot of carnivals recently and at the carnivals they usually have this game where you're in control of a water gun and essentially your objective is to shoot your water gun at the target for the longest amount of time. Now you're up against usually a lot of other players and whoever can aim their gun in the center of the target the longest and actually keep it there um, and fill up their tank first, then they win the prize. So I went ahead and did my best to recreate this arcade game, carnival game, inside of Minecraft and I think it turned out pretty cool. So anyway, allow me to go ahead and show you all how this game actually works. So we're gonna go ahead and pretend we are on Team Red. So we're gonna choose Team Red. Um, now I did make it so that there are three different difficulties here to choose from. Uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and choose Medium. Now here's your goal. Your goal is to throw your snowballs at the zombie and hit the zombie back until where they're back on top of the pressure plate. And then while they're on top of the pressure plate, they're just gonna go ahead and light up their light. Now while your light is litten, that will increase your chances of winning the game. And essentially, whichever player can keep their zombie on that back pressure plate the longest will win the game. However, I did make this a lot more fun, and instead of just, you know, counting and whoever keeps their zombie longest um, wins, I went ahead and added in some, uh, some minecarts back there, and those are going to be a visual representation of who is actually winning the game. So keep in mind, we're on the red team, and we're gonna keep our zombie on that pressure plate back there. Now, the longer you keep the zombie on the pressure plate, um, the more speed boost you're gonna give your minecart up there. So we're on Team Red right now, and you can see that the red minecart um, armor stand, it's an armor stand inside of a minecart, that is ahead of the pack because we're keeping our zombie on the pressure plate. And boom, we ended up winning. Our firework went off first, and we won. And you can see all the other um, blue, yellow, green, all the other armor stands, they are farther behind because they don't have anybody keeping their zombie on their pressure plate. So it's a pretty fun game. I really like how it turned out. Okay, so you have a gist of how the game works and sort of the rules behind it, but allow me to show you guys how this game actually works in survival mode. So I think in survival mode, it plays best if you limit each player to only three stacks of snowballs. Um, this way, you have to sort of limit your snowballs um, to only use them in like the correct amount of time and sort of, you know, pulsate them. You don't want to just spam them all at the zombie because then you're going to run out of uh, snowballs before the game's actually finished. So that adds a little bit of strategy to the game. And it would be extremely easy if all you had to do was hold right click. Um, but if you limit each player to only three stacks, then when the game starts, you have to sort of, you know, limit them and you want to time, you know, perfectly between each snowball to try to keep the zombie on that pressure plate as long as possible. I think that's also most fun. I also went ahead and added in three different difficulties. So if you guys want to, for more of a challenge, you can play from farther back and you almost can't even see the zombie head. So um, that's definitely a lot harder. And if you want to play shorter, um, feel free to do that as well. Anyway, let's go ahead, hop into survival mode here. And then um, whoever's blue side is going to want to push this button to go ahead, get the game started. Now you can start throwing snowballs before, and there's that countdown lights up there. Um, but keep in mind, you only have three stacks. So, oh man, we should have started throwing snowballs sooner. But you definitely don't want to run out. Um, now, the cool thing about this game is it is somewhat skill. You know, you got to try to keep your zombie on the pressure plate the longest. Um, but then it is also has a lot of aspects of luck in here. So allow me to go ahead and explain the redstone behind this machine and how it's actually working. Now there is a factor of skill involved in this game. Um, definitely the player who can keep their zombie on the pressure plate the longest is going to have the most advantages, um, but not necessarily are they going to win because not only is there an aspect of skill, but there also is a pretty big aspect of luck in this game too. Um, and allow me to sort of explain that. So when you keep your zombie on the pressure plate, we can go ahead here, let's break in here and we can sort of represent this as a, we'll put a little snowball on that pressure plate. Up, oh, I missed, there we go. All right, so we got a little snowball on the pressure plate and as that guy lights up, what's going to happen is this guy turns on, this turns off this torch, which allows this clock um, to pulsate on and off. Now while the clock is pulsating, what it is doing is it is triggering this guy right here, and this is a one out of three chance randomizer. So 
every time it's going to dispense one item into this hopper right here. And you can see each time it's a completely random item. Now when it's just a crafting table or a block of sand, uh, this comparator isn't going to travel to blocks, but when it's a sword, um, the comparator is going to travel to blocks, and then that's going to trigger this guy right here, which is another clock, and I will show you what that clock does right up here. So you can see each of these lanes are flashing off and on, off and on, and what that does, if we go ahead and start the minecarts, um, when the powered rails are flashing on and off, um, that actually slows the minecarts down. So you can see they travel at this very slow pace, um, which gives it a nice little, you know, slowly traveling across the lane. Um, but then what's going on with this guy, this guy is hooked up to the randomizer. Now whenever the randomizer dispenses the sword, what happens is this line of rails actually turns on for quite a while, and that gives the minecart a little boost. So yeah, that is pretty much how the entire system works. Um, these three lanes up here, they aren't receiving any um, boost because they're not turning on longer, because their clocks aren't turning, because there isn't a snowball on their pressure plate. But if we go ahead and, I don't know, we'll drop a snowball on the yellow block, and then if we go ahead and start up a new game, the clock will tick down, and then this time, you'll actually notice that the yellow train wins, um, because you'll see his thing flashes on and off and gives him a little bit of a speed boost. So anyway, this Minecraft creation was inspired by one of my previous horse racing machines. Um, essentially, I tried to create a mob racing machine that used pretty much the same mechanics, however, it was completely random. And I went ahead, took that, and I said, you know what, I think it would be fun to add sort of a skill aspect into the game. Um, because to be honest, it's not as fun to just push a button and watch a bunch of mobs race off of a randomizer, um, but it is kind of fun if you have a battle with your friends, and this way it does in fact add some skill, especially if you guys can get four of your friends and then sort of have a battle, and then, you know, whoever wins is the best, uh, best snowball thrower, I guess you could say, and the best part about it is this machine can be built entirely in survival mode. All it requires here are four zombies, and then also over here, we have four villagers in little compartments. And all those villagers are doing is uh, they're making the zombies sort of push to the side, so that way as you chuck them with snowballs, um, the zombies are always running towards you. I also have some blocks up there to make it so they don't get burned by the sun. Um, and I'm using armor stands this time instead of mobs, um, because mobs actually move minecarts when they're in stationary, so they can push them in all sorts of directions. Anyway, I will provide a world download link down in the description, so if you guys want to download this and, you know, play it with some of your friends, um, feel free to do that. I would definitely encourage it. And also, um, I don't think I'm going to do a tutorial on this, but I may in the future, uh, but it is survival friendly, so if you guys want to download the world and then sort of look how I built it and copy it into yours, um, feel free because you can build it entirely in survival mode. And to be honest, the redstone behind this thing um, is definitely smaller. It's t at least 10 times smaller uh, than the mob racing machine that I had built previously. If you guys want to check out that mob racing machine, that will also be down in the description. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I also built this thing entirely in a live stream, so if you want to watch me build this thing from scratch almost, uh, that will be down there as well. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Crew, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next Redstone Invention. Adios.